Hi, I'm Josh Goldberg, and welcome to Tap Theory. If you're watching this, then you're probably pretty interested in the tap guitar, and specifically the Chapman stick. Maybe you uh, are thinking about buying one, or you just bought one online, and you're looking for ways to learn it. Or maybe you've been playing for a while, and uh, you want to learn more in depth. Well, I'm happy to say you found the right place. So the first question that has to be asked is, what is a Chapman stick? Well, a Chapman stick is part of the family of instruments called a tap guitar, which is a subset of guitars and an evolution of it. Uh, and when you hear the word tap, you know, it makes you think of, especially in the context of guitar, taking your hands and basically doing a hammer-on onto the frets to make a sound. So you're going to start by taking your thumb and placing it somewhere on the side of the instrument. I used to be pretty strict about it. I used to always have my thumbs on these grooves on the side. But as I get older and I play longer, I find that, that the important thing is really just having a connection to the instrument. And the actual physical location of my thumb will depend or will change depending on what it is I'm playing and where on the neck I'm playing it. So as I said, make a connection with your thumb and then with the tip of your finger and a small crook in your finger, have all of the power come from your first knuckle here. You're going to basically, boom, like a ball peen hammer, strike the, the fret and push it down toward the neck and then hold. What you don't want to do is touch the string and then push it down. You're not going to get any sound. And what you don't want to do is push so hard that your finger is physically touching the wood because you'll actually push the string down below the fret and detune the, the string itself. Hear that? Right? So, as I said, I'm going to take your finger, the very tip of it, just right there. You always want to try and be as close to the uh, metal of the fret that you're playing as you possibly can. Or, you know, you might, some might look at it as being as close to the front of the fret uh, or the bottom of the fret because it is in an upright position, but you're going to get the cleanest sound that way for sure. Same goes with your left hand on the bass. So make sure to notice the curvature of my finger. As I come down on this, you know, a lot of the curve is like right in these two knuckles. And then also, you know, the bounce and the fact that each finger is hitting right next to the metal. One part of stick technique that you don't really see a lot on guitar or bass when they tap because they usually put like a scrunchie uh, down at the nut is the soft release. So rather than tapping down and ripping your finger off like that, obviously I'm exaggerating the hell out of it, uh, if you noticed, what that does is it kind of, you know, acts like a pluck for the open string. What you're going to do is you're going to tap down and then as you're coming up, you're just going to leave your finger on the string. All you're doing is releasing pressure. You're not taking your hand off. You're not even uh, leaving contact with the string. You're just releasing the pressure and allowing it to come off the fret and using your finger to mute the string itself. I've got some exercises that go along with this video that will help you get started on really getting the hang of this technique. The stick is a relatively young instrument. Uh, the first model was available in 1974 after Emmett Chapman, the creator, spent a number of years refining his discovery. Uh, he had been playing guitar for a while and then reached over and began to tap with both of his hands on the guitar. And he liked the technique so much that he wound up developing an instrument based around it. The stick has been played by a number of really big names, uh, including Tony Levin of King Crimson and Peter Gabriel, now of uh, Stickmen fame. Um, it's been played by John Myung in Dream Theater, 
and uh, it's been played by Alfonso Johnson of Weather Report. Uh, currently, probably the biggest stick gig out there is Nick Beggs playing it in the Stephen Wilson band, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and he's playing with some really killer players, Guthrie Govan and Marco Miniman, among many other, you know, top dollar names. Now, almost 50 years later, we see a lot of groups uh, that use wider ranged guitars, eight strings, nine strings. We see basses with six, seven, eight to eleven strings on them. Everybody plays them by tapping. Uh, and, you know, if that's the way that music is headed, and it seems like it is, then an instrument like this, the tap guitar and the Chapman stick, or maybe the war guitar or anything like that, um, you know, it's kind of ahead of the curve. So there's varying different models. There's an 8-string model, there's a 10-string model like mine. It's very common to see 12-string models. Um, there's higher tuning ones, lower tuning ones. Um, you know, like a piccolo version, or they call it the alto stick. Um, 10 and 12-string models for that. Uh, it really depends on what you're trying to do with it. I got the basic 10-string model, you know, um, 5 strings on the, the bass side, 5 strings on the treble side, and uh, I got matched reciprocal tuning, and I got mine made out of bamboo. And I really like it. This is the only one I've owned, but it has served me very well in the time that I've been playing it. All right, we got the headstock, and uh, mine is 5531, made out of bamboo, and there's the stick man. Uh, then we got the nut flaps, <laughs> which is the kind of a funny name. And the Velcro, the muting felt, that helps keep everything dampened when you are trying not to play open strings. Then on the way down, we've got uh, our fretboard and the strings and the frets. I got the sweet turquoise inlays. Uh, and coming farther down, here comes the pickup block. And I've got the Villex Passive 4, right? And then there's our bridge. Uh, you'll notice on the Villex Passive 4, I've got three knobs on either side, and that is uh, tone, mid-scoop, and volume, uh, respectively on each side. Then on the back you can see the tuning keys. Coming down there's the truss rod. Uh, now I've got the double truss, so that means that there's going to be a second half of it. And here is the belt hook, and attached to the belt hook is this really cool thing that Andy Prokopik made for Tyler and I. Uh, that actually holds the wrench right there and it's tough to see but my name happens to be on this one which I think is pretty cool so that's my introduction to the Chapman stick and to tap guitars uh, I think that this is the instrument of the future personally but obviously I'm a little biased uh, head over to my patreon page and there's going to be a lot more of the series there, uh, and I hope that you're able to get something from it, because I certainly get a lot from teaching it, to be honest. Uh, nothing has helped me grow as a, as a musician and as a Chapman stick player more than teaching the instrument through my videos and, and to people face-to-face -face and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Keep exploring.